today as we discuss another part of the creation of human beings that makes us as people unique from everything else in creation. We're going to look at Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 and 27 where we learn about the image and likeness of God that Adam was created in. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. And so to demonstrate what an image is and what a likeness is, we have today a couple of friendly penguins. Uh, you can obviously recognize these are penguins uh, because these are images. Uh, these are little portrayals of, of penguins. And so what an image is, is simply a representation of something else. Uh, this one actually happens to be a soapstone carving of a penguin. And this is a little bobblehead penguin. You can see his head moves there like that. Uh, and they are like penguins a little bit in their color, you know, black and white. Uh, they're also about the same shape of a penguin, but not anywhere near the same size, uh, nor are they alive. And so this brings us to the difference between image, which is simply something else, and likeness, which is how well that image represents that which it is similar to. And so this particular penguin is probably a better representation of penguins in, in his detail and his color and in his shape and his size. This little baby penguin here, it can move. Its head moves. So in one way it's more like a real penguin than this one, but in other ways this penguin is more like a real penguin uh, than that one. Does apply to us as, as human beings? Well, we were created uh, in God's image, meaning that God has a physical body. We know that Jesus, the very Son of God, has a physical body. Uh, we were given a spiritual soul, as we talked about in our last video. Uh, we were also given lots of things that, that God has, such as dominion, uh, authority, uh, power, responsibility for the earth that we were created to inhabit. And so we were like God in many ways, but that uh, image of God and the likeness of God, unfortunately, was lost when Adam and Eve fell into sin, which we're going to talk about in next week's videos. Uh, and so what we see in human beings now is a very poor reflection of what God first created because even though God is perfect and holy and righteous, we, because of sin, aren't. And, and so like these, these penguins, which are a, a fairly, I don't know, in some ways a very cute representation of a real penguin, human beings can sometimes be cute and a decent representation of God. But in other, way, other ways, uh, we fall far short as these cute little penguins uh, can't move, they can't breathe, they can't do many of the things that real penguins do. Uh, and so they illustrate for us a little bit the difference between image uh, and likeness. Please pray with me. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for your wisdom in making us in your image and in your likeness. Even though these things have been lost, we know that they have been restored to us in your Son, Jesus Christ. And we ask that for his sake, you would forgive us all of our sins. And that by the power of your Holy Spirit, you would daily restore your image and likeness in us by faith. And ultimately, through the resurrection of the dead, when Jesus comes again, that you will make us again fully like you. Uh, and restore the image that we have lost because of the sin that we have inherited from Adam and Eve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings on your day.